By now, you've likely heard about the NAR, the National Association of Realtors Compensation Settlement. Here's what you need to know whether you're a buyer or a seller. One of these changes is that real estate agents will no longer be allowed to market the buyer agent compensation in the MLS, the Multiple Listing Service, starting August 17th of 2024. A seller still has the option to offer compensation or not, and the seller still has the option on how much to offer. The main difference is how this will be offered to a buyer agent. This has yet to flesh out, but it could be offered in the form of a seller concession on the settlement statement at closing. Many sellers have taken this to think that they don't have to offer buyer agent compensation. This is and always has been the seller's option. Our suggestion is to stay competitive. If every single home around you is offering a buyer agent compensation, do you want to be the only one not offering it? The second change is they are requiring that a buyer sign a buyer representation agreement with a buyer agent prior to ever seeing even one home, even virtually. This is a great requirement. We have been employing this here at the Melanie Nimitz team since 2018. We feel it is a very good decision to make a conscious decision from each party whether or not they want to work together. What if the seller is not offering buyer agent compensation? That does mean that you as the buyer would need to pay that. This is something we will discuss thoroughly at the buyer consultation prior to agreeing to work together. If you have any questions about how this might affect you, whether you're a buyer and or a seller, feel free to call or text anytime. Thanks so much.